mnemonic lock assembly here. Just a good, old-fashioned underframe and body panels for the standing structure. Given the targeted era, I think a set of laced wheels would be appropriate, but I'll forgive them the 12-inch cast wheels since the factory also abandoned the rear drum brake in favor of all-around disc brakes. We have no ABS or combined brake features, just harness control and feedback at the hand levers. Seat height is average at 30.5 inches tall, and the tapered shape at the front of the saddle makes for easy ground access when it's time for the footwork. Overall length measures right under 76 inches long with a 51.9 inch wheelbase, numbers that put it in the mid-size bracket, and a 245 pound dry weight that keeps the thing manageable at low speeds. Naturally, that lightweight does nothing to improve tracking, and gusty side winds or pressure waves from passing traffic will be keenly felt. One of the things about not being one of the hoity-toity big guys is that you don't get to charge for name recognition and those savings get passed directly to the customer. Kimco lets go of the like 200i for $2,499 MSRP. That's not bad for the 150-200 cc market when you could easily spend at least half again more for a scooter with a similarly sized engine.